the attending anti-aging physician from Bangkok Hospital Pattaya. Adrenal fatigue is a term applied to a collection of non-specific symptoms such as body ache, fatigue, nervousness, sleep disturbances, and digestive problems. Your adrenal glands produce a variety of hormones that are essential to life. So here to tell us all about uh, hormones and adrenal glands, please welcome Dr. Pantoli. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Are you doing great today? Yes. Yes. How many people of you in this room woke up fresh this morning? Wow, quite impressive. <laughs> okay, what it actually because it's associated with what I'm going to talk today. It's very important for middle-aged people. However, I think within the next 10 years, the definition of middle-aged will be not at 50, but it's going to be 70. Okay, for you guys. Okay. And, uh, and how many of you in this room know about adrenal glands? Ah, could you tell me? <laughs> yes, but I, I really appreciate it. <laughs> and um, adrenal glands is very important. It lies just in the middle part of your body, just above your kidneys, okay? And adrenal hormones are secreted by adrenal glands, okay? And in every single activity that you are doing every day is supported by adrenal hormones, okay? So you're gonna deplete yourself of adrenal hormones every single day, okay? And adrenal fatigue is one of the kind of underdiagnosed or misdiagnosed by conventional medicine for many, many years. Okay. Right now, statistically, 50 to 60 percent of the middle-aged world population is suffering from adrenal fatigue. Okay. Some people are referred to psychiatric department, some people to internal medicine department, and to many, many things. And the renal fatigue problem on a soul. Okay? That's why I really want to, to focus on adrenal fatigue. Maybe you don't have it, or you expect to have it in the future. However, at least you can help people surrounding you. You can diagnose them at the end of the day, you have knowledge to help people. Okay, and we're going to talk about it. Okay, and, um, and what is adrenal fatigue? Actually, adrenal fatigue, the definition in short, okay, is the condition that adrenal gland cannot catch up with the total amount of stress that you have. And what is, what is stress then? The physical stress from exercise, from working, from any activities, and psychological stress, okay? And uh, the more stressful condition for psychological stress is living in unfamiliar place like you guys living right now in Pattaya, away from home. But I, I do hope that you enjoy living here a lot. However, I, I have a, a number of patients that find quite stressful at the first place, living away from home. And this is a stressful condition, okay? And diet, a lot of diets are very, very bad and bring you a lot of oxidative stress, okay? So this is this is the reason why your body has to encounter everyday stress. 
and this is the burden of your adrenal glands. Okay. So when we know about our daily stress, how to know that you may have some degrees of adrenal fatigue. The easiest way is to ask yourself in the morning. Have you ever woken up fresh or exhausted or tired? Okay. If you feel tired in the morning and in the afternoon, that's okay, not the same. In the evening, oh, it's better. You have some energy in the evening. And late evening, you feel hello world. It's kind of a this is a degree. And if you even have insomnia, this is adrenal fatigue. And it's quite common in middle age and above. Okay? This is not your fault. It's about the hormones. And we have to figure it out. And we can correct it. And anything else? Okay. Any other symptoms? It's quite easy to to kind of uh, to listen to to your body, okay, and figure it out if you have this or not. First, you have more craving for sugar and carbohydrate because of what? Adrenal glands are responsible for blood sugar control in your body, whether or not it lows or is high, okay. When you have low blood sugar, your adrenal glands have to find some place else to secrete more glucose. Okay? And if you have uh, low adrenal functions, you will have low, kind of a low uh, blood sugar. Okay? And this is it's gonna be your baseline. You're gonna have low blood sugars all day long. And the first source of energy would be simple carbohydrate. If you feel kind of a craving of chocolates, of candies, or tropical fruits that's available here, this is the first signs of adrenal fatigue. And secondly, if you feel like more sensitive, you feel more sensitive to stress, when you have stress, if you have kind of a cold sand and can feed, have uh, heart racing or panic attack. From experience, I've seen a lot of panic attack in middle age and elderly because of adrenal fatigue. It's not about psychiatric things at all. Okay? <coughs> and lethargy and even depression. Okay? Sixty percent of Patients with adrenal fatigue are referred to psychiatric department, which is so sad. And they have to be dependent on a lot of drugs and medications. But actually, it can be solved by uh, the, the correct way of adrenal support and adrenal treatment. Okay. And if you find yourself, you have Lost ability to cope with daily stress. If you really want to change yourself from external threat, this is a sign. When we think about maybe 20 years ago when we were young, you feel more active. You feel more ready to fight against any person in the world, can do any kind of work on earth. But right now, you feel more a little bit intimidated this is a sign too. And muscle weakness, because adrenal gland is responsible for muscle mass production. Okay? And we found a lot of muscle loss in elderly too. And uh, more important factors, adrenal glands is also responsible for anti-inflammation, okay? If you have inflammation, whether or not it's infection or allergy, this is the warning sign. 
If it comes more often, this is the warning sign too. Adrenal hormones are natural steroids. And natural steroids are different from synthetic steroids. Okay? This is the best steroids on earth. And we have to keep it. The only natural steroids can help you to fight against any kind of infection and inflammation and allergy. And I'm, I'm going to talk about this in the picture. Okay? And apathy. This is very important or feeling lifeless. This is, this is, if you see any people surrounding you with this sign, you can help them. Okay. Every person should have right to feel kind of a, their vitality at any age. If you feel a little bit down and down every day, this is the sign. Okay. Ah, and if you kind of uh, feel, if you feel knocked down every time you have a big meal, oh my gosh, I have to take a nap every, every big meal that you have, this is a sign too. 50% of my <coughs> adrenal fatigue patients have this problem. Okay. And I hope you guys are 